5. Close Packing of Spheres Hexagonal Patterns Vertical Planes Periodicity Starting from a plane with a hexagonal lattice pattern, one can stack a second plane with a hexagonal lattice pattern on top of the first plane. To obtain the best arrangement possible, one has to translate the second plane along a direction that form a 60 degrees clockwise angle with the directions of the first plane. Once this is done, each sphere of the second plane is in contact with exactly three spheres from the first plane. In the same way, one can stack a third plane on top of the second plane. The translation is done this time along a direction that forms a 60 degrees counterclockwise angle with the directions of the first plane. By doing this, one can see again that any sphere of the third plane touches exactly three spheres from the second plane. For the hexagonal arrangement case of filling up the three-dimensional space, it can be seen that there is a periodicity of three for the patterns of the planes, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Another way of looking to this periodicity is to observe the planes of a tetrahedron assembled from spheres. The planes having a central sphere obey the following pattern. Yes, no, no. Yes, no, no, yes, and so on. To see what's going on inside, we will use the tetrahedron represented as a platonic structure. This is obtained by expanding the spheres. The center, the red sphere, can be seen being present any third plane. Let's note and remember the difference periodicity for square and hexagonal patterns. We will see this behavior in many other structures.